What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're gonna to be doing three skills this time, not five, I know I do five all the time, but three skills that you guys have probably never seen before. I did a video with Lewis Hall recently where I did a 1v1 on this AstroTurf, and I used skills that I've never actually shown before and the skills that I've came up with myself, and I've kind of combined two or three skills together to make these ones. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, be sure to leave a like, comment down below your favorite skill. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Let's get to it. Okay, so for the first skill, um, it's the one that a lot of you guys commented on the most, and um, that's the one I'm gonna show you first. So it's two skills used together. One of them's really basic, and then one of them's quite difficult. So if you watched my last video, I showed how to do this part of the skill first. So the first part of the skill is that. This movement right here, you're kind of making a triangle with, with your feet. So Lewis was one-on-one, -on -one and I'll show the clip of what happened. But we were one-on-one, -on -one and I did that little skill. I came around, turned it, and then I put it through his legs. So in the video, I was kind of facing him up, I did the first part of the skill, I did that movement, and when I got to here, I dragged it back and flicked it through his legs. Now, the second part, like I say, is just a drag flick. It's nothing special at all, but using the first part of the skill, which is that one, it kind of threw him off a lot, and it gave me a chance for him to get his legs open so I could put the ball through. Like I say, I've combined these together myself. I don't think they've ever been used before, um, but yeah, hopefully not. Hopefully you guys have seen this for the first time. Okay, just a point on this skill. This isn't something that you could plan to use in a game, like see a defender and think, I'm going to use this skill on the defender. It's something that will pop up at random times. Like, something is very rare with this skill. Something is very, very rare. The chance I got to pull it off in the 1v1 is because I opened Lewis's body up and I was able to put it through his legs. That's exactly why I used it in that position. But yeah, it's not something that comes up a lot in a game so don't practice this one to use in a game because nine times out of ten it's not going to happen but either way it might pop up so you just need it in your locker get it in your locker practice and practice and uh maybe eventually you can use it in your game too okay now for the second skill it's a triangle in the air now again i just use this in this situation i haven't really taught it on my channel ever before and you might have seen this one there's a good chance you might have seen it but if you haven't, then perfect. So basically you make a triangle in the air with your skill. So the first part of it, just dragging the ball up to about here, a bit more to the side. So if I was right footed and I was going my strong foot, I bring it more to the side. So it goes up there to this height. That way, when the ball's there, the defender, he or she is going to commit to the ball. And that's when you flick the ball over. So in full motion, it's like this. Yeah, doesn't need to go as high as that. Doesn't need to, it can go a bit lower, it can go more further away for if you're running behind the player um, but to get a bit of height that's what you want to do so I'll just redo that again so you're dragging it up away committing the defender and then you're going in behind the nice easy way to flick it over instead of doing the rainbow flick or the Neymar flick which are a bit more difficult this one much more simple yeah Hopefully you guys understand that. Okay, a little point with the skill. This is something you want to use on the wings or in the other opposition's half. You don't want to use it in your own half because it is quite a skill that you don't have a lot of control over. Something where you know there's space in behind, it's a perfect time to use. Um, say you're down the wing, the left or the right doesn't really make a difference. You can make that air triangle and beat them as long as there's space in behind. Make sure you know that there is, otherwise you're just going to run into another defender and then they're going to win the ball or tackle you. So the third skill now, it's done when your back is facing the defender. So when I did it on Lewis, I was facing away from him. Um, and this skill kind of just came to me. It wasn't something I'd ever done before, but then I used it in the video and it's, uh, it seemed to work really nice. I'll do it from the front. So this is what you've seen from the front. I'm dragging the ball across my body, right in front of me. Then catching it on my other foot, dragging it behind my body, and then pulling it again with the strong foot, the leading foot I started with. In a faster motion, it's like that, behind the legs, I'm dragging it. So see, I was facing Elliot now, so if Elliot was on my back, this is what he'd see. So if, if he was behind, he was coming to tackle me, I'd be dragging it in front, drag it behind, that's when he'd commit right there, and then you pull it once more to take it away. Because you're baiting the defender in with that second movement. The first movement, he can't really get to the ball because it's in front of me, but the second movement is behind me. So Elliot thinks he'll be able to steal the ball, but in fact, I do one more takeaway and he doesn't have a chance. Just like in the video with Lewis. So I'm dragging it in front, dragging it behind, and dragging it away. So I'll do that a bit faster now. So dragging it there, dragging it there, dragging it away. Yeah? I'll do it from the front so you guys can see it. So if there was a defender on me right now, I'm dragging it front, dragging it behind, dragging it once more. And I'm away. It's super fast, 
super super useful practice that one okay so again this skill is very situation based it isn't something that's going to pop up all the time but there is going to be chances to use it in a game i bet a lot of you guys have had a defender on your back and you need a skill to get out of that position and um, this skill would work perfect for that so if you really practice that first bit of dragging it in front of you and then in behind you you can sure use this in a match or any type of situation in training or playing with your friends or whatever but make sure you practice all these skills at home as much as you can because then eventually they'll just come out in a game and you won't even realize you've done it that's the best type of skill when you don't even even process it in your brain but then they just happens they're the ones that are beautiful if you need any more help with these skills and you want a bit more of an understanding of them you can find my instagram it's probably on the screen somewhere right now and um, i message anyone on there that messages me about football stuff so if you guys want to talk to me then that's the place to talk to me so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to leave a like comment down below your favorite skill and if you can learn them ones or if you've seen them before if not then great if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video